thanks to all of you for attending the session. We will be talking about uh, sustainable growth initiative, the idea behind uh, SGI and the kind of activities that we have been busy with within SGI and uh, towards the end, how you could get involved and help us with uh, SGI's activities. So the very first question would be, why do we have SGI? What SGI is for? So I put this along three dimensions. One is a need for a long-term vision in developing solutions for complex sustainability problems. The second one is a need to bridge professional silos within the academic world and also between the academia, industry, and government to try and pull the resources from across the faculty in order to develop those solutions for sustainability problems. And uh, finally, a need for education and training to understand, solve problems, and communicate about complex ESG challenges. So these are the three needs that we recognize uh, necessitate the existence of um, an initiative that focuses on sustainable growth. So this is essentially the three aspects that we have within sustainability agenda. So environment, social, and uh, governance aspects of sustainability. So this is a mission statement that I have developed together with uh, with uh, Hope for SGI to mobilize the talent and expertise within McGill to help businesses move toward more socially and environmentally sustainable business models. There are a couple of points that I would like to highlight in this mission statement. I have tried to make it as compact as possible, but uh, a couple of points are very important here. The very first one is that uh, we are trying to tap into the talent and expertise across McGill. So this is an initiative housed at this hotel, but it's reaching out to many other faculties within McGill in order to mobilize the resources, the talent that we have in each of these faculties to develop holistic solutions for sustainable problems. That's the first one. And the second one is the emphasis on developing sustainable business models. So from my perspective, sustainability is not something that you should be injecting as a constraint into the current business models. It's not a constraint on profit-making motives within the organizations, but I'm hoping that sustainability will turn into the front and center focus of all these organizations in, and also together with the profit-making motive that these businesses have. So these should go hand in hand rather than seeing sustainability as a constraint or something that businesses need to take into account within their profit-making motives. At the moment, this is the structure that we have within SGI. So I would like you to pay attention to this graph in two dimensions. One is what's happening horizontally and the other one what's happening vertically. So these five pillars are the kind of activities we are doing within, or we are planning to do within SGI. Research to action, engagement, student competitions, thought leadership, and training and education. These are the five that we are planning to do along these, what we call priority themes or offices. We have an office for decarbonization, focusing on carbon economy. We have another one on sustainable mobility or green mobility, and one on sustainable finance. So why these three and not others? The reason is that we have been developing these offices in collaboration with our industry partners. So each and every office is funded by our industry partners. I cannot actually announce the names of these partners for office for decarbonization. We are working with Power Corporation and the subsidiary of Power Corporation by the name of Power Sustainable. For the Office of Sustainable Mobility, we are working with Alstom and for the Office of Sustainable Finance with CIBC. This is a deal that we just uh, concluded a couple of weeks ago, and now it's announced in the media. So these are the three ones that uh, we have fully funded for the next three years. And uh, these companies wanted us to focus on these areas loosely defined. So the first one is focusing on carbon economy, the second one on transportation, and this one on the world of finance. But uh, of course, we have the academic freedom to work on problems broadly defined. At the moment, we are also working on two to three other offices for priority things. 
One of them will be focusing on supply chain sustainability. One of them focusing on sustainability issues related to Africa. And we have another one in the pipeline trying to focus on legal and social issues in sustainability. So the conversations uh, campaign is going on and we will see whether we can establish those offices as well. I will be explaining an annual grant challenge in a little bit. So this is what we have at the moment within SGI. So who is running this uh, initiative at the moment? As I mentioned, it's an interfaculty partnership. So from the School of uh, Management, that's me at the moment as uh, the director of SGI, and Zahur is the associate director, which I, I brought uh, on board after I took over um, SGI. We have uh, Professor Gordon Hickey from Agricultural and Environmental Sciences, leading the Office of Decarbonization. Lee Jun Sun from the School of Engineering is leading the office, the priority theme on green mobility. And we also have Professor Harris and Bunsen from the Faculty of Law, leading the office on sustainable finance. We also have the School of Public, uh, Maxwell School of Public Policy and the School of Economics involved in SGI. They are not leading any of the priority themes, but they are actively involved in day to day operations of SGI. So the steering committee, what we call the steering committee, is the one that is responsible to run SGI. And uh, all these, together with Zahur, um, are basically part of uh, the steering committee, uh, responsible for developing the activities, monitoring them, uh, campaigning, and so on and so forth. So, of course, um, this is what we have at the moment, but as we grow SGI, the plan is to involve other faculties as much as possible. Now, getting back to the idea of uh, the activities and the sort of things that we are planning to do within SGI, the first one is research traction. SGI, per se, is not really a research center at the moment, so we don't have a strong focus on, on research. The focus is to outreach to companies, uh, businesses outside, and understand their problems on sustainability, and then try to put together holistic solutions for these problems. So we are not trying to do research on sustainability. We are not trying to develop curriculum on sustainability for students here at this hotel or here. These are basically within the realm of uh, responsibilities for our sustainability committee at this hotel. So what is happening within research traction? What the key idea is, Within each of these uh, priority themes, what we have in mind to have round tables in which we have practitioners from industry, from the government, from other faculty and students, NGOs and uh, public policy makers to sit together and talk particular problems within that priority theme. So these round tables will be focused on particular problems. And the idea would be that out of these round tables, we can identify certain problems um, that our faculty and the students can submit proposals for. And then we could be funding one or two projects per year for a duration of two to three years in order to two apply the projects in collaboration with those companies. So these companies are very interested to reach to our faculty and do projects in collaboration with them. And we would be able to identify those research projects and put them in touch with, uh, with these companies to do these uh, research projects. So this is what we have in mind with research to action activities within each of these priority themes. And uh, engagement would have a broader focus. So what we mean by engagement is to have annual workshops and invite people who are active in a certain domain, for example, in the domain of decarbonization or other areas of sustainability in order to discuss, to talk about sustainability issues. So these could be in the form of seminar series, it could be workshops, it could be conferences, and so on and so forth. And the idea would be to provide a platform to share ideas on sustainability, problems on sustainability, and engage the community here at McGill and broader in Montreal in sustainability ideas. Another one is the student competitions. So student competitions, um, are essentially designed to engage students in different activities that we have within SGI. So these tend to be, what we have in mind would be larger scale competitions similar to MITC, which is at the moment housed um, in SGI. 
So each and every office will be defining a certain problem that uh, students are going to be involved in designing the competition and also running. So we are not planning to run these competitions ourselves. So we are planning to provide a platform for students to actually design and run these competitions. They tend to be large scale, covering, um, covering a, a large range of problems that uh, we have in the And it's also a very good place to mention that besides funding for the priority things that I mentioned, we also have funding for each and every activity pillar. So for example, the research to action pillar is generously funded by CDPQ in Quebec. And we have student competitions also supported mainly by individual donors. So very recently, we had an individual who offered $100,000 per year for the next three years to cover student activities within SGI. Student activities, including large scale competitions, internships, student projects, and so on. Put together, so far we have around $3 million within SGI. And we are aiming to get to $10 million, hopefully within the next year or so. After student competitions, we have thought leadership. So thought leadership, the idea is to disseminate what we are doing within SGI, within our faculty, to a broader audience. Once the projects are done, round tables are conducted, conferences are done, we are hoping that we can create um, uh, articles, podcasts, and symposia in order to um, get the message to a broader community in Montreal and Quebec, hopefully uh, internationally as well. Finally, we have training and education. So this pillar is the one that I have thought about a lot, but we haven't done, of course, so much uh, um, till now, simply because we are still rolling out our activities, trying to get a grip on the administrative side of things. But uh, the idea is to develop education and training programs for industry partners. So this is not um, geared towards the students in here, but it is geared towards companies. So we can put together interesting um, courses, interesting modules for these companies to, to engage in training and education for their employees and managers. The annual grant challenge is another activity that um, we have uh, considered within SGI. We will have the first version of this one coming this summer. And this one will be a specific sustainability question to be examined by students. So this will be a very large scale uh, competition focusing only on one idea. For this coming year, we will be having it on a power supply chain, which is an interest area for myself as well. And how is it that we can control, we can measure and control the impact of our power supply chains on, on the environment. So the teams that we have in mind for annual grant challenge cannot be only from one faculty. So these teams are supposed to come from different faculties. So let's say in case we have a team from this hotel, it should include students from this hotel, from law, from engineering, sociology, and also other departments if possible, depending on what sort of perspective they want to have in order to offer a solution for the problem of waste in the power supply chain. So this will be a cross-faculty team that we will be forming and, and running within the annual grant challenge. So this will be also engaging researchers from Medio and also from our industry partners, because they will also be involved and they want to mentor the students, share their ideas, share their perspective on the problems, and hope that they can benefit from the insights that they will be developing within the annual grant challenge. And of course, it could be a great venue for us to strengthen our media presence. MIBC, for example, which would be uh, one of the activities we are doing within uh, SGI, is attracting a lot of attention every year by the media. And we are hoping that we have the same impact for our other competitions, especially the annual grand challenge, which is at a larger scale. So far, since I took over SGI in, in August, we have been busy with the administrative side of things in, in SGI. So we have Zahur on board, and then we are trying to have another program manager in order to run the competitions for us within SGI. We, are also, we also brought uh, on board other faculties. We had to uh, negotiate with other faculties to get SGI use the expertise of the faculty within those departments. And uh, there have been also some issues at the level of uh, themes that we had to uh, sort out in order to involve the faculty. Also, we have had uh, a lot of effort in the stage of campaigning, fundraising for SGI. 
So, um, so far, those have been the main activities within SGI, but we are hoping that for the remainder of the year, we will be able mm -hmm. to have one or two activities for each of these priority things. So those activities could be the round table workshop that um, I talked about before, with the idea of uh, being we can get people together to talk a specific problem, and hopefully we will be able to identify some research projects by our faculty and fund them using our SGI funds. We will also hope that um, each of these offices will be able to run maximum one student engagement activity. This could be a competition, a case competition, it could be a hackathon in the short term, um, or it would be the one that the annual grand challenge, but that's going to be uh, a much larger scale activity we will be doing within SGI. And of course, uh, producing podcast series for the uh, community engagement pillar. This is ongoing. So one of those activities will be with the uh, accounting department. So we are trying to uh, provide support to the conference that um, they are running in terms of um, measurements for sustainability activities. And we are hoping that we can learn from our colleagues in accounting to see what sort of uh, challenges we are facing from that angle and how we can bring those to a broader community. So how can you get involved? So these are some ideas that we have had in mind. But of course, these are just uh, rough ideas and uh, it's open for you to discuss and um, let us know how more, uh, what more we can do in order to have more engagement. So the first one would be conduct research and class projects in sustainability with available funding to support your students. So within SGI, we have a very strong network of uh, companies who are interested to get involved with the students and professors, faculty here at the SOPEL and also other faculties. So they provide internship opportunities, student projects, and we can put you in touch with those uh, contacts in order to do these research projects. Collaborate with industry partners. So in case um, uh, our faculty want to have access to industry partners and they need data, they need collaboration from them, they need resources, these partners will be available to SGI to build these, uh, these connections. You could also help us with uh, business case development for student competitions. So within each of, each of these offices, for example, decarbonization or green mobility for others, we will need your expertise in order to develop proper uh, competitions for students. So what sort of competitions could be run, how they could be run, it would be an area that we are hoping you will be able to build on the expertise of our faculty. And uh, providing advice on the content for SGI. So what sort of other activities we could be doing within SGI and how we are hoping that we can get uh, ideas from our faculty. How would it benefit you, these activities? Well, maybe the first one in here would be to create a platform to have access to policymakers, NGOs, practitioners, in order to debate sustainability problems. So that would be the first one, the first benefit that is coming to SGI, because one of the things that the industry partners have emphasized is that they want to reach out to students and the faculty in McGill. So this framework, we are hoping that can be created within SGI, and um, it's going to facilitate your access to these resources waiting to be discovered. Another one is the use of the Delft platform in order to disseminate your work. So in case we have ideas, let's say in finance, accounting, OB, strategy, or other areas, then we could be using the Delft platform in order to disseminate the work to the um, broader public in, in, in Canada. So to continue, so we have um, corporate partners that uh, may support and offer projects, internship and uh, mentorship to your students. So in case you are doing uh, activities in your course that your research related to sustainability and you need internship opportunities, projects, and so on and so forth, there will be plenty of those available with SGI. And of course, um, last but not least, is the access to funding for research proposals. This is not going to be major funding, of course, as that is at the moment, but at least we can provide the, the, uh, the seed funding for research proposals related to sustainability. That's uh, what we have so far within um, SGI. Now the floor is open. Please uh, ask any questions that you have, and I'm very happy to engage. <laughs>